Oh my god. Yep. Gosh, look at that fish, guys. Look at that fish. Look at that fish. There's our kicker, baby. There's our flippy kicker. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Look at this fish. Look at this fish. All right, good morning, guys. Uh, we are walking down the boat ramp right now. Tank's got us picked up. We got some ultra mega clear water. We're gonna see how that goes. We're gonna go up here, run to the upper end, try to find some grass, see if we can catch a few large mouth and make something happen. We can stay on this lower end, catch some small mouth, but that's not quite the mission today. It's a little warm for that, I think. So we'll see how it goes. Pretty good one, dude. Yeah. Mm, it's a real good one. Oh, hold on. Keep it. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Mm. That's a big one. That's a big one. Good job, dude. That's a good one. Got it on the GoPro too. Yes, sir. Mm, show him to me, Hank. Show him to me. That's a yeah. chunk, dude. All right, so Hank's got our first fish of the day. It's a solid chunk, three and a half, maybe close to four, honestly. Yes, a big girl. All right, you ready for the release? Let's get back here. We got this ultra clear water. There she goes. I don't know what that was. Oh, that's a four pounder. Eat it. Got him. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's on GoPro too. He flipped and followed it out. I dropped it and he ate it. Oh my gosh. That was flipping insane, dude. That was insane. I got it on GoPro too. <laughs> I was like, I know it was a fish. I followed it out. He's swimming, he's swimming. I dropped it right in front of his face. He flipping donked it. Oh my gosh. Dude. That's crazy. That's a solid chunk right there. Goodness, that's gonna be killer on the GoPro. What do you think about that, guys? That's crazy. All right, let's get a release on him. I was like, no way he's gonna eat it. No way he's gonna eat it. That was insane. All right, so we've just been going down this bank that has a few lay downs on it. Um, we couldn't get bit up in the grass this morning, so we decided to run down lake a little ways and immediately started having some more activity, some more bites. Um, I had a bite on a spook within like the first two or three minutes and Hank's had some bites on a shaky head. And so we've just kept going down this bank. Hank's caught one about three and a half, maybe. He was, he was pretty healthy. He might've been close to four, I don't know. Um, but now we're just burning down this bank this map, there. this lake has no mapping chip, so it's a little harder to fish offshore unless you just know where you're going or know what you're looking for. So we're probably gonna be beating the bank today. But um, it seems like we're starting to get around a few fish. Um, I've had one bite throwing this jig up in these trees and lay downs, um, and I've had several follow me up and uh, being looking at it when I'm hung in the tree. So hopefully, that's a good sign and that we will get some more bites here soon. Okay, so anyway, out there in the middle of the lake, I don't know if y'all can see it, you may hear it here in a second, but there's something just swimming around in circles out there in the, like in the middle of the lake and me and Hank just heard a wham. We're like, gosh, something just fell from the sky pretty much. It's like a bird may have dove down is what we thought, okay? But we're sitting here looking at it for a few seconds and it's a flipping beaver swimming back and forth in circles and every once in a while he'll lift up his tail and smack the water craziest thing i've ever seen like i kind of want to see him smack his tail in the water for us boo 
Nope, he's just going to keep swimming. I don't know what he's doing. He's just swimming in circles out there. Kind of weird. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have one locked on the bed right here. He, I think he's pretty catchable, too, because he went and looked at my jig the first flip in there. He's going to look at it right now. He's looking at it. He's eyeballing it. He's nosing to it. He's nosing up to it. He's nosing it. He's still looking at it. Hadn't bit yet. Hasn't bit yet. Yeah, I'm wacky rig would work in there too. I'm just not taking the time to switch just because he's so riled up. He's going to eat it this time right here. Oh, he's got it in his mouth. Got him. Got him right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Let's go. That's a chunk. Yeah, he's a good one right there. He ate at that pitch. Look how red his eye is. Little bed fish getting ready to spawn. Chunky, healthy fish right there. When I came up here today, I did not know that we would be bed fishing, but if this wind stays down, it looks like it's fixing to get up though. But we'll see, we'll just keep flipping down these laydowns. We're gonna put him right back on his bed. See if he goes right back to where he was. You can probably catch him again here in about 15, 20 minutes. Flipping, whacking them. Oh my gosh. Another chunk. Look at that fish. Chunky, chunky fish. Right on that jig, flipping right over that tree. A ding. My gosh, Hank. A peanut butter and jelly jig. Look at that. He's the smallest one of the day we've caught. Oh, God. There you go. There you go. That's a good one. You can flip him, probably, can't you? Came right off that log. Yes, sir. That's a good one. That was good. That was good. All right, Hank. You caught him right out of that bush right there. Or did he come off the, kind of off, the left edge. off the left edge of the tree? Yeah, that's pretty sweet, Hank. We're catching them pretty good flipping these little um, jigs. It may be more of a brown than the purple thing, though, because Hank's just throwing that brown. I broke off my good jig that I was catching them all on and now I switched up to this little bit of green pumpkin purple. Um, but we're gonna keep flipping down through here. We're getting some bites and they're solid bites, two to three pounders. Um, catching quite a few in this real clear water. Um, just taking it and putting it up in these trees and they're just smoking it. So we're gonna keep doing it until we quit getting bit. Got him. Oh God. Gosh. Let's flip and go. That's a chunk. Dude, that's a big. Look at that thing. Oh, gosh. Caught this nice, like, three and a half pounder chunk fish on the MGC Custom Tackle Flipping Jig. I think it is raw. We are whacking them today. We've got a solid bag. All right, we're going to get the release. There he goes. Got him. Keep fighting, keep fighting him. On the back side of that tree, solid chunk. Oh gosh, keep reeling, keep reeling. Okay, we'll go get him, we'll go get him. Oh yeah, he come off, you're good. Oh gosh, it's a good one. It's a good one. Keep fighting him, keep fighting him, keep fighting him. I got one too. A bigger one? Just okay, okay. keep 
Keep finding him. Keep finding him. It's a good one. It's a good one, dude. Okay, just flip him in here. <laughs> dude. <laughs> That's a big. Oh, my gosh. They are flipping chomping, dude. dude look how red those gills are. That is pretty fish, dude. A pretty fish. There was another one with him, you said. Yeah. Mm, hold that baby up. That's another solid two or three pounder. I'd say we're up to 16 pounds now. I'd say so. Yeah, sir. All right, let's put him back. Mm, just kicked right off. <laughs> Big guy right here, baby. Big guy. That is a big one right there. G -g 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 giant bass. This one's a little smaller. Here we go. Yes, sir. We are having a day to remember, baby. A day to remember. There he is. This little one and a half, maybe two. Solid fish. Got him. Oh, what a jump. There you go, baby. Another solid chunky fish. Look at this. Got that jig right in the side of his mouth. Chunk. Oh, because it's got small mouth, that's why. Uh-oh, Hank's hooked up with a smallie. Yes, sir! On the flipping jig. Oh, flopping around. There you go, you got him now. Is he just on that wood again? Yeah. Yeah. Oh gosh, that's a pretty good one. Now nah, I'll flip him. Oh my God. Yep. Gosh, look at that fish, guys. Look at that fish. Look at that fish. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. There's our kicker, baby. There's our flippy kicker. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Look at this fish. Look at this fish. All right, we finally caught our kicker fish. I'd say it's about a four and a half. A solid chunk, so thick. Pretty girl right here. Uh, we're gonna put her back, see if we can catch some more. I think we're up about 17 pounds now. It's a pretty solid bag. Uh, we'll put her back. There was one just as big following her up, so let's see if we can get her back in here. Oh, look at that fish. What a beauty. Woo! He's got it. Got him. I'm telling you, when you set the hook and miss one, let it fall again, and they'll come back and get it. It's wild. Set the hook, missed him, he came back and got it. And he frayed my line all the crap. Okay, you can come up here, because you're gonna wanna fish this little stretch right here. All right guys, so we're wrapping up the day. I think we probably caught around 17, 18 fish, and we probably almost had 17 pounds or close to 17 pounds um, in our best five. We caught a bunch of solid chunks today, flipping that jig just right up in those uh, wool trees and lay downs just like these that you can see all through here. The key really was finding a little bit flatter bank. This lake is like generally quite a bit deeper, but so we found the little bit flatter banks with those lay downs on it, and that's where you're like more majority, majority and your healthier fish were coming from. Uh, we were just flipping that little MGC custom tackle flipping jig right there um, and a queen tackle um, flipping jig. And just it started out with a peanut butter and jelly and then it ended up with a green pumpkin with a uh, purple flake in it. It's just kind of wanted a little bit of bluegill taste to it, I think. 
um, but they were chomping this morning. I hope you guys love this video as much as I did filming it. Uh, please give it a like, subscribe, go follow my fishing Instagram at Seth underscore Mosier underscore fishing. Leave a like on that page. Check out some of my pictures and uh, share these share these videos, guys. We're going to try to get up to a thousand subs before the end of summer or real soon so we can start making some money on this channel so we can start putting some money back into this channel so we can put some good videos out for you guys. I appreciate the view and I'll see you on the water.